I cannot believe those Californian zombies wrecked our home. Thank goodness we came to Florida. Californians will never destroy this place. They couldn't because it's already a horrible dystopian wasteland. Oh, you knocked your drinky winky over. We'll get you a new one, sweetie. Wasteland, I tell you! This dystopia of disease will be the death of us all! Mm, not likely. Florida wasn't even close to the worst state in terms of its handling of... that thing we can't mention on YouTube. In spite of the dire predictions that Florida's policies would result in the worst outcomes, Florida, which ranked as having the second least strict lockdowns, didn't have a higher death rate than some of the most heavily locked down states, such as New Jersey, Michigan, and New York. And keep in mind that Florida also has the oldest population of any state except Maine. Why does that matter? They're pretty much the only people with significant risks. The average infection fatality rate for all groups of people under 65 is about 0.15%, but the average for people over 65 is 3.56%. Oh yeah, smart guy? Then why did so many politicians, doctors, and the news media all tell me it was an equal opportunity killer? Higher ratings? Kinda seems like all those people were lying about some of this stuff, Ron. Uh, politicians? Lying? I never. Even if they weren't intentionally lying, most of the data and statistics that got thrown around, especially in the beginning, were nonsense. And a lot of what most people think they know for sure is based on really bad science. The shockingly high case fatality rates that we all heard about early on only counted people who were already hospitalized, instead of looking at how many people died versus how many people were infected. There's been a ton of self-reporting and poorly managed data sets. We've incentivized hospitals to test everyone and overcount cases, while disincentivizing people to get tested because of strict rules, so it's hard to say how many cases there have even really been. And probably worst of all, we've been counting deaths with a certain disease as if they're the same thing as deaths from said disease. Okay, that sounds like a bit of a mess. Oh, and by the way, the most influential epidemiological models, the ones that terrified everyone at the beginning of this, were essentially based on zero factual data, and most of their initial predictions were way off. But it's even a little bit hard to see how wrong they were now because they kept getting quietly revised and changed to seem more accurate. Lies, darned lies, and statistics, right? Harumph. You really still believe the narrative, don't you? Thankfully, he might be the only person in this state who does. Sha! Hey, my dudes. What are you doing here? Ah! Thank you so much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Also, check out the links in the description because we bring the receipts and leave a comment below. We'll see you on the next wonderful, exhilarating episode of Common Sense Soapbox. Check it out.